The enemy builds walls. It starts with one brick, and he adds another brick and another brick. The bricks have names, the brick of doubt, the brick of fear, the brick of negative thinking, generational curses, hate, unforgiveness, oppression, depression, addictions. And he says there's no way out. There's no way to be free. Enslaving sin is one of those bricks. But boy, when you get serious with God and you focus your faith on seven days of fasting and prayer and jump in on this fast and join us, I believe that the walls will fall. Joshua chapter 6, it runs parallel. This story runs parallel with fasting and prayer for the last seven days of this fast. I want to give you some quick lessons from Joshua's story and the Israelite story and what God is saying to us for the next seven days. Number one, God gave Joshua a simple instruction. He said, get out there and march around the walls of Jericho one time for six days, and on the seventh day, march seven times. And Joshua could have said, this is crazy. This is stupid. I'll just go get a battering ram, and I can knock the door down. Why am I... Why, why in the world would I do that? That makes no sense. That fasting and prayer stuff, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in miracles, and that is your problem. We try to fix our problems our way. We think that what we think and what we do is all that matters. We take things in our own hands, but instead of following God's simple formula, God's simple prescription for a miracle, He gives a plan. He gives an instruction. And one of God's instructions, if you want to see the walls fall, is fast and pray for seven days. Keep going. Keep fasting. Keep believing. And then the second thing, after he gave him a simple, and some of you say that's too simple. That won't work. If we'll do what the Bible says, God will back it up. The second thing that God said in Joshua chapter 5, he came near, the Bible said, Jericho, and he saw a man with a sword in his hand, and he fell at his feet, and he began to worship. And suddenly when he looked up, even though before he was seeing the massive walls, they would be higher than the ceiling of this building, history records. And they were much, probably twice that length. And instead of seeing those walls, he saw someone who said, I am the captain of the Lord of the armies of angels that are in heaven. I am the commander. I am the one who commands the armies of heaven. And instead of seeing that wall, listen carefully, in that moment, he got his focus off of the walls and he got his focus on that angel that we know was really Jesus. And theologians will tell you that. He looked up and he saw Jesus. You got to get your eyes off the wall for the next seven days and get down and begin to worship God and march and obey the simple instructions of getting your eyes off that problem that is so big, those walls that are so high and so thick, and get them on Jesus. Fix your eyes on the commander of the armies of heaven. I will look unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help is the Lord, and the Lord is bigger than that wall. And suddenly the wall goes out of focus, and he begins to focus on Jesus. When you fast and pray, the focus comes off the problem, and it comes on the one who said, I'm the Lord, and I will lead you, and I will guide you, and I will honor you, and I will raise you, and I will cause your heart to be healed. I will make a way for you. I will bless you. You focus on that one, not on the walls. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.